Royce and I'm the Americas PageBot XL Business Development Manager. In this brief video, we're going to review the features and benefits of the PageBot XL front panel. As you can see, the front panel is located on the right hand side of the device and it rotates 360 degrees. This gives you the ability to view the status of your printer from the front or back. In addition, the front panel does move up and down so you can minimize reflections. The HP PageWide XL front panel gives you control of your PageWide XL device. From here, you can see the status of the printer as well as the jobs you may be printing. In addition, you can do things like change ink supplies or do print head calibrations. And last but not least, the front panel will show printer alerts when necessary. The PageWide XL front panel includes the following components. A high-speed USB port intended for connecting a USB flash drive, which can provide files to be printed or a destination for scanned files. When a USB flash drive is inserted, a USB icon is displayed on the front panel's home screen. The front panel itself, 8-inch full-color touch-sensitive screen. A loudspeaker, the power key, with which you can turn the printer on or off or wake up from sleep mode. The key is illuminated when the printer is on. It flashes when the printer is in sleep mode. The beacon, which enables you to see the printer status and alerts from a distance. There are five different beacons. The white light, the printer is ready. The white moving light, the printer is printing or preparing to print. The yellow in light, the printer will need attention soon. For example, it is almost out of ink or paper. When printing, the yellow light remains at the left and a white moving light appears. When the beacon is a yellow solid light, this means the printer can print, but there's a problem. If the problem persists, please contact your local support representative. While printing, the light will appear yellow instead of white. And a red light. The printer is unable to print and needs attention, or a major subsystem of the printer is not working. Now, let's review the fixed left and right hand side icons. Press the home icon to return to the home screen. Press the return arrow to go back to the previous screen. This does not discard any changes made in the current screen. Press the red X to cancel the current process. Now that we understand the front panel setup, let's review the different screens available. There are three top level screens that you can move between by slotting your finger across the screen or by pressing the appropriate button at the bottom of the screen. The first main screen and provides a direct access to the important printer functions depending on your printer model and accessories. The All App screen displays a list of all applications available in your printer and the status of each of them. The Widget screen enables you to monitor at a glance supplies such as ink and paper, the job currently being printed, and the job queue. Let's start with a review of the home screen. On the home screen, you'll see four icons, the job queue, paper, ink, and print icon. Under job queue, you will be able to see the status of the job currently printing as well as a history. From the history, you can quickly reprint or delete any job. Under the paper icon, you can quickly see the status of each of the PageWide XL medias you have loaded in your device. This is also where you prompt the machine if you need to load the media. Under the ink icon, you'll quickly be able to see the status of all your ink consumables, including the cleaning container, maintenance cartridge, and the ink itself. This is also where you initiate the process to replace any of your supplies. And last, under the print icon, when a USB drive is loaded, you're able to scroll through your files and select any of your print-ready files for a quick print. Now, let's review the All Apps screen. On the All Apps screen, you have all the applications available for your PageWide XL device the paper, ink, as well as optimized quality, connectivity, about printer, usage, settings, user guide, print, and job queue. We've already covered four of these, so let's jump to the ones that are different. Under optimized quality, these are items that you can do as an end user to increase the performance of your PageWide XL device. Under connectivity, this is where you can understand if your device is connected to the internet or set up on your network properly. About the printer provides basic information about the status of your product, including serial number and a service ID. Usage is where you can track how much ink and media has been used on your device, including square foot and milliliters of ink used. Settings. On the settings screen, 
you can make changes to the printer default settings, including paper source, job management, and connectivity. The user guide is the complete user manual on the front panel of the PageWood XL device. We've already covered the rest of the icons. And finally, let's review the widget screen. The widget screen is my favorite for screen because in just a glance, any operator can see exactly what is happening with their device, from ink to media to the current job printing. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the HP PageWood XL front panel. To see how HP PageWood XL can make you more productive, all with a lower total cost of ownership, go to hp.com forward slash go forward slash PageWood XL. <laughs> <laughs>